U.S. Speaker Nancy Pelosi has arrived in Taiwan, prompting immediate anger from China, which has warned it will have a severe impact on relations between the two superpowers. She is the highest ranking American official to visit the self-ruled island that is claimed by China in 25 years. Beijing had warned the U.S. was playing with fire if the trip went ahead. Its planes flew near the territory ahead of the arrival and it's now scheduled military exercises and a missile test launches in the waters around the island. It's a dramatic standoff that's likely to escalate further as Pelosi meets with the Taiwanese leader later today. We'll be live in the US for reaction a little later, but first, here's our East Asia correspondent, Bill Bertels in Taipei. What a tremendous relief it must have been for Nancy Pelosi and the entire United States government. Her plane safely landing late in the evening in Taipei after flying a very convoluted route from Malaysia. The aircraft initially dodged the South China Sea by flying east. There appeared to be concerns about maybe a Chinese intercept attempt or something like that over those waters. And instead, it flew up the eastern side of the Philippines to approach Taiwan. Now, just as the aircraft was landing, China's military announced that some of its fighter jets were crossing the Taiwan Strait. In fact, both China and the US deployed aircraft carriers in the region, as well as fighter jets and refuelling planes. So a very tense atmosphere over these hours that Ms Pelosi's plane was in the air. But after so much talk and threats and warnings from the Chinese side about what would happen if she did travel here, she has been able to safely land. The trip has not been derailed. And on Wednesday, there will be a site that will likely infuriate Chinese nationalists. Nancy Pelosi, a long-time critic of the Chinese government, meeting with Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen, a woman who China's state media often labels as a separatist. Bill Bertels reporting.